obviously you're you know you're 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 working in a business and then like who who says to you like hey i have an idea that we should now sell cups right yeah, <laughs> like how, yeah. does that, how did this all come to right. yeah, yeah yeah well it's so funny like the way that the business started uh there were two guys that um i had worked with for several years i'd known both of them for more than a decade and they worked uh, underneath me in this organization mm-hmm. my brother and they, they just kind of approached me one day. We went out to lunch. They just said, hey, would you be willing to just do a side project with us? We, we love working with you, and it'd be fun, and we could sell things online. And uh, that was really like it, it was not this kind of vision, yeah, yeah. grandiose visions. It was just kind of like, hey, it'd be fun to do a side project. And all we knew was, hey, we want to do something in e-commerce because we have really deep expertise there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we want to make really good product. And we want to start by selling on Amazon. That was it. That was yeah. the extent. Oh, and I think the other thing is we really had a sense of like culturally uh, what we would want it to be about as big or small as it ended up being. And we so we started out by making a list of like all these products that we could sell. And I've pulled that list up in, yeah. you know, in recent months and it's just there's a bunch of just terrible ideas on there like, like ideas where it's like compost bins like if we had picked compost bins as like our product of choice you know we were probably not doing yeah. this podcast um but we we had a couple of good ideas on there and we were fortunate enough uh, as we went out and started getting samples on some of our ideas to find a really outstanding manufacturing partner uh, internationally that made our product type. Mm-hmm. And this is right when, you know, Yeti is really kind of coming onto the scene with their stainless steel tumblers and Hydro Flask is really starting to grow. And so like the, the timing was really good. We, yeah. what we found is we found, uh, the timing was kind of right. It was just a fantastic product. Like the first time you have something with vacuum insulation, it feels kind of like magic. It's like, okay, I like how in the world does right. this work? How is it the ice not melting? And, uh, but all of our competitors were really focused on physical retail. There, there wasn't really a big brand that had really seriously focused on Amazon. Yeah. And so we thought, hey, this is this is an opportunity. Uh, it started with us buying, I think, literally like 500 bottles and mm-hmm. listing them on Amazon. And you know, early on, we we had just enough success that it was like, okay, I think we're on to something. And it basically started this process of we'd get inventory in, we would sell through it, yeah. um, we'd, we'd have to place a reorder, and every reorder, I would feel like, like it, you kind of go through this emotional roller coaster, like we'd get the inventory in, and I'd say, man, this is selling fast, we need to buy more. Um, okay, let's be aggressive. We weren't aggressive enough last time, let's be aggressive. Okay, we're gonna buy this much. Place a purchase order that night. You know, I wake up. I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> like I'm going to bankrupt myself. <laughs> you know, and yeah. then the inventory gets in, and it's like, oh man, we didn't buy enough. And right. then you just rinse and repeat. And imagine doing that for you know several years. Uh, but that was how we kind of got off the ground. We uh, one of the really atypical things about how we started the company. The first um, ten people I hired, there was only one that I hadn't known for at least a decade. Mm-hmm. And part of the thought process there was. It's, it's one thing to say, hey, these are our values and this is what we want to be about. Um, a lot of people will hear the things that we lay out as like what we want the company to be about. And we'll say, well, that sounds great. Yeah. You know, like who wouldn't want to, you know, work that Right. But it's one thing to say like, hey, in a vacuum, that sounds great. It's another thing to have actually lived it out. And so especially early on, had this incredibly high bar of I want to hire people where I've actually know them and have seen this demonstrated in their mm-hmm. life. Um, and that was kind of the, the first year of the company getting up and off the ground. And then, you know, over time, uh, we, we start to really develop a following on yeah. Amazon. We go to, you know, Target and say, hey, listen, your, your customer, they're, they're buying us. They're just not buying us in Target. Yeah. They're buying us on Amazon. And, and this was during a period where all the retailers were just terrified of Amazon. Maybe they still are. I don't know. Amazon's, mm-hmm. it's quite a business. Um, but... And Target thought it was compelling, and, and we got into Target, and then you know things. It, it's like the snowball analogy. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. It just really started to pick up steam, and and six years later, this is where yeah. we are.